going to troll the edge with Taco Marine here at the CCA workbench. You know what, Dave? Yes. Rigs and techniques. I mean, I'm sorry. New was products. last time. We yeah, did new that product. already. <laughs> I'm still trying to play catch up. But here we are talking about some new products this week. Yes. Real Legends. Real Legends. Yes. Uh, this is this is the new Men's Mariner 2. You know, it's Father's Day coming up, so we want to try to get some stuff that Dad would like. It's not a tie or a can of Barbasol. But anyway, some Men's Mariner 2 <laughs> <coughs> LS fishing shirt you know it's got a nice vented back here uh really nice pockets in the front uh 50 upf 50 moisture wicking as well what's really cool about this one is it's snag resistant you know a lot of these uh kind of, this kind of material will get will catch a snag when you go by even even some of these kind of uh you know these kind of shirts right but you know this this won't hit, hit this won't snag like a like a, some of these other ray, uh, rayon and polyesters will it's a snag resistant. Very Dave, nice. I wear this a lot mm -hmm. because I've got them in lots of different colors, and I want you to know, very, very comfortable. Really cool. But they really breathe. Right. This mesh keeps the pers pre pepper perspiration, perspiration off your back. Perspiration off keeps, of It you. keeps this from getting wet too. Exactly. So and and it keeps it from sticking to you, which is you know goes all the world when you're trying to stay cool. Yeah. Next, we got the men's bonefish short over there. But uh, what I really like about these shorts is that they have pockets on both the on the front of both of, of the of your legs. Yeah. So if you're a right-handed guy, you can keep your your pliers on the right. If you're a left-handed guy, you can keep your pliers on the left. Either way, both you know, but same exact pocket on both sides. Uh, these are water repellent, UPF 50 as well. They've got a nice elastic waistband in there for the expandos like myself. Uh, snap and loop uh, pockets, you know, uh, so. You know, you got the kind of Velcro pockets there, and uh, you know, very, very well, and, and long out. enough. A lot of a lot of uh, places where the where water gets in there, it'll drain out yep. as well. Yep, so, very well thought out. Good yeah, job. Bells. Very good shorts there for the Real men's legends. bonefish short. Next, we have the men's vortex wide brim. <clears throat> this is a UPF 50. I like, you know, I like wearing these big wide hats. Uh, I actually lost one on an airplane one time. You made did? me very sad. How did yes. you lose it? How do you I, lose I something it. like this? Dude? I left it. I get off the plane and I left it. It wasn't a thing, you know, that I usually have. You so were sleeping? It was, it was a, yeah, pretty much. You I was coming back from Australia, so yeah, <laughs> I was ready to get off that 17-hour plane, and I left my hat. But anyway, it's got a cool <laughs> underside, you know. Uh, it does. It's got the lanyard on there to keep it on, you know, so it won't yep. go flying off. It, it might choke you to death when it comes flying off if you're in a boat. <laughs> I've had that happen a few times. <laughs> but uh, make sure you pull it off before you go real fast. Yeah. Go to bellsflorida.com to get all these real legends stuff. All right. Happy Next, Father's Day, men. Yeah, get your get out there. Next, we got this Savage Gear. This is the Pulse Tail Line Through Mullet. Uh, it's based off the 3D scan of a real live mullet, so it looks and swims just like the real thing. Uh, it's really cool. It's got this line through system. You know, the line actually goes through and this thing, see how that goes like that? Yeah, I see that. And you can put it in, you can put it this way, or you can actually put it up through the bottom. Yeah, it comes out. Yeah, bottom. you can put that line up through the bottom and have the hook stay right there in between the little peck fins on the bottom, or up there on the top where I had it a second ago. It's got a little slot that that big heavy duty, it's a big heavy duty treble hook. Uh, if he gets on there, he ain't coming off. And what that does is it, it doesn't allow the fish to use this pretty heavy substantial bait as leverage once he's hooked up. You know, because if he did, if he had that thing hanging right on his face and he's jumping around, that weight of this bait can pull that hook out. But if he's hooked up and he's now it's way over here, he can jump around and that bait's not going to come out. So you know he can use Dave, it as leverage. Dave, we've got to continue to talk about this. We'll get to this next week. All right. We, Ridge and I, took this down to Mexico and we created dredges. We had, this is considered the white mullet. Right. And they also have a silver mullet, which is more gray and black. Right. We had 50 of these pre-rigged. Some of them had an islander in front, and then we had some that were naked. And the way these things swam on the dredge bar was unbelievable. And that's what you want. You want them to swim like a fish. Yeah. You want them to p pass the boat. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what Where these do. Where do we go to get these? Well, you go to savagegear-americas.com to get your... Uh, that's a mouthful. To get your uh, pulse tail mullet. That's a mouthful. Hey, you know what? I good think... Good job with all this... Uh, no Daddy stuff. Yeah, no and I think everybody just thought of the moment that their wide brim hat choked them on the boat because yeah. I did. It's